The most important ingredient is soul. I just try to go for something that reminds me of what I grew up on and I grew up in a soul for era with like the funk and the R&B. I just go off that vibe. Look what you've done, look what you've done, look what you've done for me now. Yeah. So I had the, I had a website called The Surf Kid when I was in the surf club and he, they had the OVO blog spot, which is now the full website. So one night I just ended up lurking the OVO site and he had posted this video with Static Major. The bounce that Smoke played in the piano determined everything and Static was snapping. You know, like you can hear Static, static snapping in some points of it and shit like that. And um, I just didn't want to interrupt that bounce. The piano melody came in and it, it, something was just telling me like, man, like I need to sample this shit for Drake. And I sampled it from YouTube. It was an amazing piece of music. It was the only way I could get it. So I'm going to get my hands on it. Drake told me to remove the, the drums on a verse. I basically did that. And then that led to the hook portion that we all know that stayed in the record. I play these kicks out solo. So the kicks are going left to right, just to give it a different bounce. I did that more for like, like a heartbeat vibe. Like I wanted to give it like a pulse and not give it like a regular drum pattern. When 40 end up taking the verse drums out, that made that part stand out so much more because I don't even think anyone expected that bounce to come in. Like it was just like a, like just very different, you know? And when it came in, it was kind of like some soulful, like one, two step type shit. And that's what I really wanted to go for. I wanted to have like an old school R&B-ish vibe to where even though I know a lot of young people listen to Drake, I wanted people who were older who maybe not be familiar with like the singles or anything like that to hear something like, uh, hear, to, hear a record like this from him and be like, okay, you know, he makes something for me also. And then there was also a percussion loop I added with that. I think you do hear, you might hear the breath more than you hear the, uh, the actual lasers and shit like that. Because if you listen to the version with Drake and you hear the hook, you can hear like the girl breathing in the back, like, but it's like you said, man, I have so many different elements in this shit. And then 40s mixing just took it over the top with him knowing how to place all the sounds in the right pocket and shit like that. Now, if you listen to that with the loop, you'll hear how well it blends. Also added a clap. without a bass line. So um, I didn't want to put an 808 in it because I didn't think it deserved like any like boom or any random shit like that. But uh, when it got to the hook, it was like the piano was, it was perfect, but it just needed something else to like take it to another level. And the bass just added like what I would call like the meat with the potatoes. Like the potatoes was already there with the piano and it was just like, you know, People need that big steak, that 16 ounce steak to go on a plate to complete it. And that's what the baseline provided. It just came through, it was a, a nice sub. I really look for like an instrument that may give me like some type of like memory jog, you know, I like to get people to sit and think, you know, a lot of the music is meant to make people move, but I kind of like to make people move in a different way, like maybe sit still and move up here where you moving so much in the body, you ain't got time to think. This record is literally like Drake featuring Static Major. You know, we did everything in our power to make sure Smoke and Static and everybody that was involved with it got their uh, just do. Look what you've done, look what you've done, look what you've done for me. Uh...